Good morning. Happy first day of Vlogmas. It's December 1st. It's come and Vlogmas starts today. And I spent most of the day yesterday cleaning up, getting the house together, at least the downstairs for decorating. And the tree is up. I will show you. And Duncan has already been in it once, so it's going to be another interesting year seeing how that goes but obviously it's not decorated yet and needs a little primping but it's up and then i'll put the small tree up as well so my goal is to get the trees done today and then anything else will be a bonus because i want to get as much decorated as possible but i also need to clean the upstairs because since the downstairs took me so long yesterday i didn't get to the upstairs and it really needs it plus videos i'm on day six but i've got the last six to edit and then this will be added but i am still way ahead of where i've been in past years because i was still recording videos in past years so i did very well pre-recording ahead of time now i've just got to catch up on editing but i'm excited should be a good vlogmas i think it's the first vlogmas where i'm not traveling during vlogmas so it'll just be me here in my home state for the month but that should be good and right away first week of vlogmas is going to be a crazy one because saturday is my santa claus show at work and usually it's a week later but that wasn't working out really too well because it was conflicting with a lot of other events that were going on so i pushed it a week earlier which just means i have a little bit less time to prepare for it so this week's going to be crazy getting ready for that and then the day after that is the holiday parade that i've told you i'm on the committee for so i'll be busy with prepping for that as well as the santa claus show oh and then thursday is Night of Lights at Scott's work, which I've shown you every week. So it's gonna be quite the hectic week. My day one 12 days of Christmas video is gonna come in very handy. I'm gonna need those reminders. And as you saw, I started my day off with some yoga to get that workout in and already get some deep breathing going, but I'm really trying hard to enjoy and do what I can do and what I don't get to I'll get to eventually and if I don't as far as decorating goes it's not really bothering anyone but me so it's just meant to be enjoyable but I'm kicking off vlogmas with a festive new shirt that my mom got me for my birthday so you can't really tell from the front but I'm going to show you in the back in the mirror it's got Santa Claus and it says believe. So I thought this was an appropriate top to wear for Vlogmas day one. But now I'm gonna have some breakfast, take care of the clean dishes in the dishwasher and grab some stuff for decorating. Okay, I've brought the ornaments down for the big tree. I've got some Christmas music playing on the TV. Turned it off for now because of copyright, but gonna listen to some Christmas tunes while I decorate first thing is fixing the branches which is my least favorite part but I did watch a few YouTube videos and do a little bit of reading to see the proper way to decorate a Christmas tree and they suggested starting from the top and working your way down so that is what I'm going to do don't have my tree skirt yet, but as I get more toward the bottom, I'll bring that down as well.
I don't know why I never knew about that method before, but it makes things much easier because, well basically I didn't, I started at the top with the larger ornaments, worked my way down, then went back to the top again to fill in and put smaller ornaments, and went around the tree as I did it, and it really does help to make it more even so that you have all different size ornaments distributed all throughout the tree whereas before I would just kind of randomly place them so this makes it a little bit easier potentially even a little bit quicker I don't know I've never really timed myself but that went pretty well now I'm going to try oh I didn't put them way at the bottom because <sighs> Duncan would just knock them off so we leave the bottom pretty much empty and I realized that I shouldn't put my tree skirt down yet because the more I'm working on the tree, the more needles are going to fall off and I'm going to want to clean those up before I put the skirt down. But I'm going to attempt this year to put ribbon on, which I haven't done in a few years. The last time was in 2015 when we first lived here and did not have a cat. So I'm going to attempt it. One, because I thought it would look nice. Two, because I'm hoping it will make it harder for Duncan to get in the tree. But I could just be setting myself up for disaster. Who knows? So I'm going to see if I can find a video or something on how to easily put the ribbon in the tree because I'm not very good with that stuff. And if there's a simple method, I'm all about that because especially with the ornaments on it, it could be hard to get it in there. But they did say to put the ornaments first, then your ribbon. So... Let's see what I can find. Okay, so of course, every video that I looked up had them putting ribbon on before the ornaments, which made me think maybe I should start doing a segment called decorating for beginners. But I did find one video. Hopefully I have enough ribbon because I'm just using an old roll. But I did find one video which looked fairly simple where she put it on after the ornaments. And so I'm going to attempt that, wish me luck, and see how it goes. Worst case, I just don't put it on there, but I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, so tree one is done, for now anyway, unless I decide to change anything later. I talked to my family, and they've all informed me that it's going to snow. I knew it was going to snow, but didn't really pay much attention to it, thinking, oh, it won't be a big deal, it'll just be a little snow, because it's December. Apparently it's supposed to start at 4 o'clock this afternoon and go until Tuesday. Well... That's not good, because I have too much to get done at work this week, so it's going to be interesting. But I am going to vacuum up the needles so I can bring down the tree skirt. have to run outside and get some stuff off the porch, because I don't want it there if it's going to snow. And then I plan to clean for one hour, see what I can get done upstairs in one hour, and then come and do the little tree. But... First, I will show you the tree. So in that hour, I was able to get our bedroom clean, so that's pretty good. I also ended up running out and getting gas because I realized that I only had about a quarter of a tank. And with snow coming, I don't want to have an almost empty tank. But I cleaned my vacuum yesterday because there was lots of hair and stuff clogging it. And now I went to put back on the regular attachment that I had cleaned out. It's not sucking up anything, and it's not sounding like it normally does either. So, I don't really see another way that it could go back on, but it's not working, which is a problem. So, I wasn't able to vacuum the upstairs carpet. But, now I'm going to have a little food, because I haven't eaten since breakfast, probably some caffeination, 
and then get to the little tree. I ended up finding a little bit more of that ribbon, so I added it onto the big tree. It's the best I can do, but I think it looks decent. So that tree is done. And I've had to keep Duncan away a little bit, but right now he's being good. He's just laying down in his house. But I had to keep my eye on him for a bit there. Don't know if you can see him in there, but there he is. And then now this tree is done, the little tree is done. I would call this my hallmark tree because it's a lot of Hallmark and princess ornaments. All right, so it is five o'clock. I am done my decorating for today. There are a couple of other things that I do want to add, but it's not gonna happen today, like garland on the stairs. I wanna put more of these lights up on the other sides of the room because I do have more lights to use, but that's just not gonna happen today. So I will get to that another day when I have some time and help. And so I thought I would just take you around and show you what I've done so far and then I have to go and clean my bathroom. So I'll just give you my little holiday home tour. Starting on this door here, we have Santa's mail, where we will put all of our Christmas cards that we receive. And then these have been up for my videos, but it's nice because they add light to this room that doesn't normally have light. And then I just put some Santas here. And then on this table, some candy dishes and my poinsettia, which you'll have also seen in my videos. We had to go with a fake one because they're poisonous to animals. And Duncan gets quite curious about stuff, so we didn't want to get a real one. And then over here is a Santa Claus candle holder with candle, advent calendar, cookie jar, over by the coffee maker, I just tucked a little Santa in there, our elf on the shelf is apparently wanting some caffeine today, and then I have these little warming dishes, as you head into the dining room there's the tree with no lights on, and oh, my little automated candles just came on, but this one the timer's not working correctly for some reason, so I have to turn it on manually. And so this table I've done nothing with yet, other than put a new tablecloth on it since yesterday. But at some point I may add stuff, but for right now, there's nothing. And then over here is some Christmas books with Frosty and my mason jar. Then over here is another little snowman, Santa, and another mason jar. And then over here we have our Hanukkah table. Even though Hanukkah is not till the end of the month, we just usually leave it out all month along with the Christmas decorations. So we have our bench on the bench and some little Hanukkah decor. Then just a little bit in the bathroom because Duncan will knock stuff over otherwise. So we've got the little snowman there and my new little candle holder. And that's about it for in here. I haven't shown you Duncan's Christmas tree. It's actually a bed, but so far we've only had it a day and he's not too sure about it. Hasn't wanted to go inside of it yet. So hopefully he will at some point. And then... We have the mantle with our stockings. So that's what I got done today. It took me all day, but I'm pretty happy with it and I had fun doing it, which is what it's about. So 
now time to go and get my bathroom cleaned because I'll feel good when that's done and then we'll see where I'm at. 6.30 p.m. I've had a pretty productive day so far. Got my bathroom cleaned, had some dinner, and now I'm hanging out waiting for the premiere of the 12 days day one. Cause it's premiering in just a couple of minutes though. I, so I thought I'd hop on to my channel in case anybody's watching as it premieres, which is not likely, but we shall see if they are, that would be nice. And then my plan for the rest of the night is to do my planner. Uh, let's see, planner. Try to work on my gifts that I wanna get for people as well as my own list for people and edit day six. So we'll see if I get all of that accomplished, but it's going but I feel pretty good about today. It's already quite snowy outside, which I'll show you later, but. This is what it does for the premiere. So instead of it starting immediately at 6.30, it's giving you a countdown. Well, I got another video edited. Don't know why at night lately I get stuffy. I'm fine all day, but at night I get stuffy. But, uh, let's take a check of the snow. It's coming down. Our steps are already covered. It's getting quite deep already. And because of that, I have no work tomorrow. Which in any other week I'd be thrilled to have a snow day. But because I have so much to get done before Saturday, it really isn't a good thing because it just means I have even less time to get everything done. So in that way it's not so great but I'm going to make the most of it and hopefully do a little bit more decorating around the house, get some more editing done since I won't have time for much of anything after tomorrow. But Hopefully you were able to watch day one of the 12 days of Christmas. I'll put it up in the cards if you were not able to yet so that you can see it. But in it, I gave a bonus tip where I said that I was going to try to do something for myself, basically something fun or enjoyable in the morning and in the evening. And I'm taking it as those don't have to be grand big things, but just something each day to make it more enjoyable and less stressful. So I'm going to count decorating this morning as my morning thing. And tonight I'm going to go and do some face care, some exfoliating and face care and read my book because those are things that I enjoy. So I'm going to head up and do that now. I did want to mention while I'm thinking of it that I have not done a giveaway for my 12 days videos because I decided to change it up a bit this year so that it can be more for my true subscribers and true watchers or viewers I should say but and I did put it out there and those people that I asked seemed interested in a giveaway. But I'm going to do it differently this year. I've been thinking about it and I haven't decided definitively what I'm going to do, but I am going to do something. So it's probably going to be within the vlog since I didn't record a separate 12 days video. So it will be somewhere in Vlogmas as to how to enter and what I'm going to do. So make sure that you keep watching so you can stay up to date with that. So the first thing I'm going to be using tonight is my Sakari Baby Facial. This is a chemical exfoliant and I have to leave it on for I think half, a, yeah, 20 minutes. I'll be putting that on for a bit while I do my night journaling and reading. And then I will follow it with the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil because it just gives a burst of moisture after that product. And then... I'll be putting on my lips the Laneige 
lip sleeping mask because I've been enjoying this especially at night to add moisturization and then if I'm feeling up to it I'm going to use some of these eye patches from Patchology then if I need more at the end of the night I'll put on my Laneige water sleeping mask I'm just going to read my book now and head to bed. I ended up only needing that oil, not the Laneige sleeping mask, as you can tell, because I'm very shiny. But it does the trick since that exfoliator can be a bit intense. And I will talk to you tomorrow.